Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here, and today we're just going to go through a little box of comic books that someone dropped off to sell to me. All right, let's start digging into that box. Oh, before I dig into that box, I do have a stack of heavy metals that were traded in. A uh, kind of rough, so I only gave them a buck a piece, and I'm not going to flip through them this time because they're just a little bit too risque. And some of these, the covers are falling, like they're beat up, so I figured the really damaged ones, if I put them in the shop for three bucks, people will probably be happy to pick them up, even if the covers are detached. Uh, they're just a little bit too beat up for my own collection. But yeah, I do love old school heavy metal magazines. They just have some really fantastic artwork in them. That, oh, we're missing the cover. I gotta try to keep these in order so I can make sure the covers go with the covers that are supposed to be there. Very cool. Oh, that's the back cover. <laughs> so disorganized in their pieces. There, and then he had one sealed one. I gave him $2 for that one. And that one I'll probably end up keeping because it's in good shape. Okay, let's go through that box of comics. All right, let's dig through this cool box of stuff. There's newer comic books, some magazines, some graphic novels, some books. Uh, I'm going to go through this whole box and see what's inside. I don't know what's inside. It's a mystery to me, so this is going to be a ton of fun. All right, let's dig through it. Okay, we have a uh, Dave Grohl music book. We have a Dan McDade sketchbook. That looks pretty neat. We have a Curious magazine. Looks like a pop art magazine. This is what's happening. Just like a indie comic book. A Kusama, the graphic novel. That cover is gorgeous. I love that cover. It's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, that's cool. I'm really excited to add that to my collection. We have Ringside. Volume 1, Kayfabe. That looks interesting. We have the Goddess of War. Clean this back a little bit. Looks like a big old graphic novel kind of thing. That looks kind of neat. We have a uh, Peter Sellers DVD. Kind of rare. That one probably has a little bit of value to it. The Poison Flowers of Pandemonium. That looks fun. I do like kind of indie graphic novels like this. I just like seeing... Like the artwork's not as refined, but it's a lot of fun. I like the way it's painted and colored. Not a lot of words. It's just all about the art. All right, that is fun. I like that a lot. Move these to the side so I don't get overwhelmed. So most of this kind of stuff I end up keeping. I don't really sell it. It doesn't sell super well in my shop. So I don't rush to sell it. I just sell it when I decide to sell it. We have Bum. Unsmooth. Just looks like a fun indie comic book. Very interesting looking. Mad Spoofs, the 90s. That is fun. Uh, probably just a really limited indie kind of thing. Birth of the Bat. Bat, fun indie. This guy trades in really interesting, you know, uh, indie stuff. Uh, some Dr. Seuss stuff. We have How the Grinch Stole the Christmas. The Secret Art of Dr. Seuss. The Song, or no, The Sons of El Topo. This looks very interesting on the cover. Uh, artwork looks pretty awesome inside too. All right, that's cool. I love just big French style comic books. Those are some of my favorite to collect. Uh, we have Charles Burns, Sugar and Skull. I like his stuff. I think it, I just love the really thickness of his lines and just the shadowing and everything. His artwork is gorgeous to me. It's a little bit, uh, I need to censor that a little bit. You can't really see it inside. Uh, okay, one more book and then we'll get to the comics. Oh wait, no, okay. You saw this a few days ago on, on Pop Fun to Play. We got Airboy number five, the beautiful Dave Stevens cover. Definitely a key issue. Uh, Tom wanted that one. So if it is a duplicate, I'll end up selling it. I just don't know where mine is right now. I think I have one, but I'm not 100% sure. If I don't, I'm happy to get it though. And then we have Dr. Seuss's The Seven Lady Godivas, which is cool. You know, a lot of weird Dr. Seuss stuff. Okay, let's go through some comics. I like buying from him because he, you know, a lot of the stuff he gets are newer releases that he buys to consume and read. I gotta put this behind it. And then uh, after he enjoys it and reads it, he trades it in, right? He gets some cash. So he probably read all of these. Uh, okay, we have Orphans and the Five Beasts by James Stokey. I love his artwork. I think it's gorgeous. We have, uh, I don't have my normal setup. I'm gonna put two more books so I can line these up. Book. that there there we go okay so we'll put that to the side okay we have uh crossover number 12 
Crimson Rain Star Wars. That. There we go. So we can see better. Uh, Punisher number one, variant edition. The Wrong Earth number one. Uh, Batman Beyond the White Knight. This one I know is really hopping last week. I think a lot of people are looking for that one. Uh, Wolverine Patch number one. X Factor reprint. Uh, Star Wars High Republic number 14. Darth Vader number 20. High Republic number five. That's a beautiful cover. I love that one. Eye of the Storm number one. Trail of Shadows number four. He usually loads me up with all the newest Star Wars stuff. And Halcyon Legacy number one. Go get that up just a little bit. Okay, so that was that bag. Okay. Next we have, oh, this is fun. I actually wanted to put the series together because I don't really have a lot of them and I really love all the covers. So Geiger number six. Oh yeah, sweet, he has a few of them. I think that's an A and B cover of that. Gorgeous covers. Okay, I'm super thrilled to get this. More Steve Mannon stuff. This one looks like he signed it. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff from him a month or two ago. So I'm thrilled to get more comics from this artist. Awesome. Okay, uh, Daredevil She. Uh, Daredevil 25, second printing. So that I think the first printing is actually worth something. Bloodshot number one. Uh, Batman 89, number three. Alter Ego, number one of four. Alter Ego, number two of four. This is a little bit shiny. Okay. Then we have one more bag. All right. We have uh, Marvel Team Up, number 102. The Incredible Hulk True Believers, number one. I forget what number that is. It's, I think it's in the 150s, 170, something like that. Uh, Lone Wolf and Cub, 23. Fantastic Four, number one. Uh, or True Believers, number one. Wayward Girls, uh, I don't know the number. I guess that's number one. And number two, Edgar Allan Poe, Sniffer of Death. That looks interesting. Uh, Cold Check, don't know the number. Oh, number three. Uh, Hellboy and the BPRD 1957. Don't see the number, but that looks cool. And that's everything. So I want to try to start getting more videos out on Pop Comics. So I think I'm going to do a lot more of these shorter, like five to 10 minute videos, just as little stacks of comics come into the shop, just so I can make more content for you guys. Cause I love doing comic book videos and I want to do them way more often. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.